Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I have the privilege of opening the graduation ceremony of graduating classes of November 2017 of Les Roches Global Hospitality Education in Switzerland. Before we begin, we're all excited to see the graduates. You will have seen when you came into the auditorium a little ticket. We're taking professional photographs for you. There's no need to stand in the aisle and take them yourselves. There's no need to stand up. You can go to that website and collect them after the ceremony. Okay. Now, please stand and welcome the graduates of class of November 2017. Thank you. Please take your seats. On behalf of Liroche Global Hospitality Education, we are delighted to welcome honoured dignitaries, parents, families, friends, guests, sponsors, members of our governing board, and of course you, dear graduates. Welcome. We're particularly honoured to welcome the following dignitaries to today's ceremony. Mr. Marshal Camazan, President of the Commune of Icogne, and Mr. Francis Cleaver, President and Chair of the Board of Governors and Founder of La Roche. Welcome and thank you. <laughs> to start the ceremony, I have the pleasure of introducing Dr. Fabian Fresnel. Acting Chief Executive Officer of Liroche Global Hospitality Switzerland, who wishes to address the students and their families. Good evening. Thank you, Paul. Always an honor and a pleasure to, to stand before the students, though I didn't have the pleasure to get acquainted. As you noticed on the screen, I'm acting ad interim CEO. We're going to have the new CEO joining. Les Roches on December 11th. Their parents, their graduates, well, not exactly graduates, in a few minutes. Uh, families, friends, um, Francis Cliva, Mr. Cliva, founder and uh, chairman, president of, of the board. Welcome to beautiful Switzerland. Welcome to Grand Montana Plus. As you've seen, we've ordered snow so that you understand what your kids went through over the last three and a half years. It was certainly a painful experience especially taking the time to do shopping and get the best ski outfit out there. Uh, dear graduates, it's been three and a half years of hard work, sometimes, uh, well not you, three and a half years, that, was, uh, that is on Friday, so for you it's uh, far less than that. Hard work certainly, uh, exhaustive parties, exhaustive ski uh, sessions, long hours dedicated to Facebooking. Well, you've made it, congratulations.
Today is a day of, uh, of celebration, day of joy and a day of, uh, of emotions uh, because I'm sure over the last uh, months and year you've made lots of friends, sometimes very good friends, sometimes more than friends. Uh, I will not comment on that one, uh, <laughs> but th this is part of the Les Roches Global family. Uh, and those friends you're about to leave, uh, and some of them you're about to live with. So, uh, this day is certainly your day, and what I would like you to do is to be noisy, is to have fun and to enjoy every minute. It's a small cohort this afternoon, you know, compared to the big graduation ceremonies we have the bachelors, so, so warm it up, enjoy this one, and make sure uh, this day and this evening is going to be your day. Let me also thanks, uh, thank all the people uh, who are making this festive event possible. I mean, here this is a brand new venue, you know, historically we've done the uh, graduation ceremonies on campus. So there may be a few glitches around there, please pardon if those happen. Uh, I would like to thank my colleagues and uh, to welcome my colleagues as well from the staff, management, faculty who've been working extremely hard, put their heart and their soul into making this event a successful one. Thank you very much and congratulations before we go to the cocktail party. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank the sponsors. Uh, by sponsors, I mean the parents, families, <laughs> uh, <laughs> have invested uh, a decent amount of money, uh, but more importantly, have I've had the intelligence to invest in your future. Also, I imagine to support you when you guys were in trouble, when you were emotional, when you failed some of your exams, but you're here, which means uh, at the end of the day, you made it. So thank you very much for all of you who've invested in the future of your offsprings. I think, and I, I tend to often quote someone, I do not remember the name, but at least I think the sentence speaks for itself. Knowledge is the only instrument that is not subject to diminishing returns. So that knowledge will open the doors to future careers, will help you and has, I'm sure, help you develop your critical thinking and knowledge is the path to freedom. So thank you very much to the parents, to the families and to the sponsors. Hopefully you won't have to sponsor anymore. You all have a job, I believe. Well, that said, and I will, I will not make it too long and no quotes and, and no additional uh, comments or do's or don'ts. What, what we all know is you're about to, to embark on a complicated journey, that's for sure. Uh, set aside optimism, you know, the challenges you have ahead of you are far greater than potentially humankind has ever gone through. You know, you, you, you can name anything from technology to inter artificial intelligence to robots to to the so-called contact-free experience. So for the last 12 months or so, you, you've been with your classmates, interacting, mingling, socializing, partying, and you're about to, to join an industry that is only about bringing robots, you know, being the e-concierge, the e-housekeeping, the e-host, so that, you know, investors are dreaming of the so-called contact-free experience to bring more EBITDA to the bottom line. So how are you going to how are you going to find yourself in this industry? How are you going to preserve the jobs of millions? How are you going to make your investors and asset managers happy? And how you guys are make this world and the industry a better one in the future? Because at the end of the day, this industry and what you went through again over this uh, period of time, you know, is about socializing, is about bringing people together, is about bringing religions, backgrounds, origins, all together. And what we see, and I had the chance and the privilege to be I'm recently at a conference talking about artificial intelligence and the impact in tomorrow's world. And I have to admit it was really frightening. And of course, our industry, I mean, the hospitality industry at large and the service industry is going to be impacted. So how are you going to make that, you know, still livable for many? Remember, 85% of the jobs in this industry are low-skilled jobs. So already you see in Singapore, for example, many hotels using e-butlers, uh, e, e, uh, using robots to do housekeeping. How are you going to be this enlightened hotelier, this responsible leader, 
who are only going to make the industry move forward, but also is going to make a better world. So I think we are all lucky to have embraced the hospitality industry that connects the diversity. Um, I think this industry will be instrumental in the future. And I think you have, you're still young compared to many of us in this, uh, in this room. So you have a tremendous future ahead of you. You have tremendous challenges, also tremendous opportunities to make this planet a better one for your children. Remember those good moments you've spent with your friends in this small village. And thanks to Francis Cliva, I think Les Roches is still a big family. We have a, a superb alumnus who's going to speak uh, to you in a, in a minute. The, the hotel schools and the hospitality industry is still an industry that is extremely friendly, that brings people close to each other. Please make this industry the industry of tomorrow that will connect the people and that will preserve the humankind at large. Congratulations again. This is the entire Les Roches community that is extremely happy uh, to have you here tonight. And uh, I guess you guys will have a tremendous career. Make sure that uh, you think of your career as well as your professional life. And that said, I wish you the very best for your life. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening. Thank you, Dr. Fennell, and also for underlining why my subject is the most important in MBA. <laughs> we are now going to proceed with the awarding of the certificates. Uh, with this in mind, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Frank Gooning, Program Manager of the Postgraduate Diploma Program, to announce his students. <laughs> This is always a little bit of a special moment. Parents, I've got to say a few things that are quite important and dear to my heart. Because first of all, for parents, sponsors, and it's a continuation of what Dr. Frenner said, they worked hard. We made sure that they worked hard. Our pleasure to work with the PGD students, the postgraduate diploma students, the MBA students too. And we try to make it fun, but the hard part, and it's, it's a challenge because of many reasons. Now, we are at the end of this journey, and the important thing now is to remember that each and one of you must remain unique to make a unique contribution in the industry. There's no point being the same. Half of the group graduating today, we traveled to Dubai and came back a week ago. We, actually, we were in the sun, but we were in the desert a week ago about more or less, enjoying belly dancing because it has to be done. <laughs> but after that week in the desert, try to cast your mind back at key words to retain from all the visits. We met people that shared their passion with you. Remember Florencia Azuma restaurant, really driving force behind that restaurant in Dubai. Mark Kirby at Armani, welcoming us, a GM welcoming us, coming out from his office to welcome us with his passion. We met CEOs, chief executive of different organizations, Patrick Antaki, the drive, the experience, just dive straight in. Do you remember that one? Dive in, no? Forgotten? <laughs> Don't say anything. Uh, with Lynn at the do seat, you know, and be yourself, believe in your ability. One of the things you must remember is that you have created here in a few months spent here in the mountains, new friendship that help you. And remember key words in your mind whenever you have doubts. Passion, enthusiasm, drive, self-belief. With that, you'll go a long way. Now, don't overstep the mark. You're not the finished product yet. There will be many years of learning and certainly it will happen. That's what we heard. It's not me inventing it. That's what we heard last week. Another thing I've learned this during that trip is that employees no longer exist anywhere. We are now talking associates, ambassadors. We've heard all sorts of names that employees have finished. It's a past generation. Employee first, we heard. Customer second. Many hotels said that. And then in the end, the economic viability of the business ensues. No problem. 
So all those things remember and hang on to that. Then the last thing really you've got to cherish is the opportunity you have in front of the postgraduate students with the blue hat there, come from 15 different nationalities. And to have embraced the cultural diversity here, to work together, to learn from each other's experience is one of the unique experiences that you will have picked up from the living in the mountains of Bluch, Carmontana, Switzerland. So I'll say no more. I wish you very good luck in the future. Remember to do the simple things right. Remember to join the alumni. If you haven't done so, it's very important because that's your friendship for life in the future. You'll hang on to that and keep in touch with each other. And then once in a blue moon, maybe drop us a line to say how you're getting on. But you'll soon forget about us. Perhaps you will. <laughs> OK, so we'll start with the proceeding for what is really important to you today. I'll ask for Mr. Colin Small to come to the front. And he will. And let me get my little list ready to make sure I get everything right. Names. Okay. So I will call the, num the students in alphabetical order. And we have, first of all, Alan Sidney Rose from the United States with a distinction. <laughs> Barinova Ksenia from the Russian Federation with a distinction. <laughs> Bella Aurélie from France. Boma Gaurav Pratap Singh from India. <laughs> Chen Pinchwan from Taiwan. <laughs> Dingra J.V. Singh from India. Elsa Putra, Jessica Natanya from Indonesia with distinction. <laughs> Francesco Antonis from Cyprus. <laughs> Wei Ximiao from China. Jiwani Aline from Canada. <laughs> Kao Jingting from Taiwan. <laughs> Lin Yunsu from Taiwan. Liu Lucy from China. <laughs> Lee Cantan from Vietnam. <laughs> Mordes Lopez Anna from Spain with distinction. <laughs> Hari Krishna Anil from India with distinction. <laughs> Perez Perez Laura Jimena from Colombia. <laughs> Priyadarshini Prayukta from India. Savi Alberto from Italy with distinction. <laughs> Sh 
Schwartz, Stephen Anthony from the United States with distinction. <laughs> Suresh Kumar Priyanka, Priyanka from India. Tolanuat Fenluk from Thailand. <laughs> Trabelti Mohamed Wasim from Tunisia. Where's your sister? <laughs> Venglet Pratur from India with distinction. <laughs> And to compete, when Becky Singh from Canada. <laughs> Thank you. So that completes this section or this part of the ceremony. There will be a short video presentation from our sister campus in the United States of America in Chicago. A little message for you graduating students. Thank you. Greetings from Chicago. My name is Joe Norio and I'm the campus manager here for La Roche Chicago. You're going to hear a lot of congratulations today and they're very well deserved but i also wanted to make sure that we took the time to say thank you thank you for choosing to make the investment in yourself and your future by choosing la roche for your education today you join an amazing group of alumni across the globe and so i hope to see you as you travel in your future career here in chicago congratulations and thanks again Now it's my pleasure to invite Dr. Anik Darioli Cario to present the awards for the Master of Hospitality Leadership Program. Okay. Well, first of all, congratulations uh, to all of you, MBA, PGD, Master. So let's take a moment to reflect on your past before you move on on your future. For most of you, this year was not so easy. You figure out who you are and, you wanted to, and who you wanted to be. You are living this small village, Bluch, with skills, knowledge, but mostly with friends and support for your future. But remember, you have unlimited potential. I'm sure you will be Successful because you have the passion, you have the self-awareness, and most, mostly the humility. Believe in yourself, be confident in your skills and work performance, but let your results and achievements speak for, you, for themselves, and your peer and manager will reward you with the much-deserved compliment. We started our first leadership class by a quote from Elise Judge, and it was also a UK study. So I wanted to finish it, uh, my speech with it. You don't have to be a superstar or overachiever to lead. You just need to care about something and do something about it. It doesn't have to be big. Just do something. Every great change starts small. You just need to take that first step. Not because you necessarily have the authority or the responsibility, but because you care. Dear graduate, enjoy every moment of your life and please stay connected with Le Rush community. Okay, now get down to business. The Master in Hospitality Leadership has a focus on global leadership, and it's global by itself. MHL counts six nationalities out of seven students. So let's see the faces of the MHL graduates. 
I asked Mr. Colleen Small, academic dean, to come back and a master graduate, well, please uh, come forward. Don't be shy. <laughs> Asad Salina from Pakistan. <laughs> Dimitrovich Maria from Bosnia and Herzegovina with distinction. Kimmerling Kim Elena Christina Petronella from Netherlands. <laughs> Kuchir Akul from India. <laughs> Kumar Shikar from India. And Yang Lawrence from United States. <laughs> Thank you. So now let's listen to Lera's Jingjiang video message. Congratulations, graduates. I would like to wish you all the best as you start your career in hospitality. I know that there are many opportunities for you to choose, but if you have not decided where to go, you might consider coming to China. Once again, good luck to you all. Thank you. And to continue, I'd like to invite Dr. Dimitrios Diamantis to present the Master of Business Administration. Good afternoon. Dear guests, graduates, members of the Executive Committee, faculty, ladies and gentlemen, graduations are occasions that one needs to celebrate achievement. The latter, is a dynamic metaphor. Spontaneous feelings are at times an essential raw material for advancements. Academic developments are also ingredients that one requires for growth. Up all the elements, one clearly sees that this group of MBAs have shown all of the above. Next, hospitality is about passion, attention to detail, and a demonstration of service. Up all the elements, one can clearly see that this group of MBAs have been inspired by their Chicago trip to articulate such attributes. We are confident that as Leroz, we have shown you what it requires to be successful. Now, this is the time to go ahead and make it happen. On this particular note, I would like to ask the MBAs to be standing. And with 13 different nationalities, I would like to first ask to come on the stage Aguan Gonzalez Raisa Maria from Dominican Republic. <laughs> Ayalu Chedenia Rezene from Ethiopia. Diop Theophile Sambacor from France. Eskeline Maria Evelina from Finland. Hong Tien Ya from Taiwan.
Ishaku Clara Khairi from Nigeria. Anthan Divas from India. Iskar Diza from India. Carnesis Christos Michael from United States of America. Urakanan can be quit from Thailand. Lin Chan Win from Taiwan. Ma Chiao Fei from China. Chusak Manikit Paisan from Thailand. <laughs> Athur Avi from India. <laughs> Nair J from India. Pavars and the Soja Singh from India. <laughs> Swen Man Mandi from Hong Kong. <laughs> Ubisono Lachner Michaela from <laughs> Czech Republic. At last but not least, Jan Chuk Tatiana from Rostov <laughs> Federation. And at this point, we have a video message from our Chief Executive Officer from Le Rose Marbella. Enjoy. Hello from Arbella. I send you on behalf of the entire student community, teachers and staff of La Roche Marbella, a warm message of congratulations for this day of recognition. Congratulations as well to all teachers and staff of La Roche Blues who have dedicated themselves to offer the best of their knowledge and skills to help you to grow as professionals. Dear students, from today professionals and alumni, I encourage you to demonstrate with commitment, pride, humility and passion your excellent preparation as professionals. Remember that we have a great responsibility, making a positive difference in communities around the world. Best wishes from La Roche Marbella to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Diamantis. Uh, dear graduating class, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce this year's guest speaker, uh, Mr. Gabriel Buch. Mr. Buch is a La Roche Masters graduate of 2009 and has worked in Starwood, Hilton, Marriott, amongst others in Spain, Belgium, Qatar, and today is a revenue manager at the W Hotel in Verbier in Switzerland. Please welcome him to the stage. <clears throat> okay, well, um, hello. Um, CEO and founder, Dean, University Leadership, Associates, Parents, Friends, and most important, the 2017 Class of La Roche Graduate Programs, 
Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here today. And uh, graduates, congratulations on your achievement. Well, I was honored to receive the call uh, when I received the call to come here and speak in front of you to share the joy of today. I was also excited and I was somehow a little bit terrified because I have no idea the impact of my words and because myself I missed my graduation speech uh, eight years ago. So I actually have no idea what to say. <laughs> but I did a little bit of research in uh, YouTube and so on and came up with some cool ideas. No, joking. I am actually going to share my ideas and what I have lived so far after uh, graduate, graduating eight years ago. And I hope that uh, you find my words a little bit useful. Um, this not a graduation was uh, back in 2009 and then um, I was uh, achieving my first checkpoint in my uh, career. Since I was a little kid, I was always wanting to go to hotels and I was always investigating how to go, how they work. I was even uh, hiding behind the front office and spying on the people that were checking in other guests. Uh, it gave me pleasure and uh, so, you know, this is what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to do. It's uh, work in the hospitality industry and I said, okay, what do I have to do to go and work in the hospitality industry? So that was my first plan. Uh, the plan has moved on. I have um, a little bit adapted according to the different circumstances of my life, obviously. And today, uh, I actually love what I do. I, as a revenue manager, I'm crunching numbers, I'm generating demand out of nothing, I'm squeezing the last drop of revenue the market can give us. And uh, even I like this uh, evil feeling uh, when I increase the rates and then uh, someone missed the opportunity to book the room at a lower rate. I like it because it means that I took that opportunity from the guest, so it's uh, a little bit evil, but forgive me. <laughs> um, I also like what I do because I work with a lot of departments and uh, above all, I like what I do because it's my plan, because this is what I wanted to do. I don't need any, anyone coming back to me and saying, hey Gabriel, well done. I don't need anyone back, back, patting my back. Uh, I like what I do because it's my passion. So my advice to you is, you know, draft a plan. Um, for sure, you, most of you have already a long-term goal, but if you don't, set audacious goals for yourself. And if uh, in the future you wake up every morning and you find out that whatever you're doing is not working towards achieving that goal, then rethink that goal and rethink what are you going to do to achieve your plan, to achieve your ultimate uh, Goal because when you plan your plan, you design your own ambition and uh, it's based on what you like. Um, I'm not going to be the first one to say this, but uh, indeed, today more and more industries are being robotized. As we see, uh, just let's take a look at our sister industry, the airline industry, right? Hotels are very similar to airlines in the way that is travel and so on. but they are dedicating a lot of millions and a lot of efforts in eliminating all human interactions as much as possible. Because they do believe that humans, they can forgive my language, screw up. Um, well, guess what? The difference between the airline industry and the hotel industry is that we are people. And hospitality is a business of people made by a people. I don't want to contradict you, but at the same time, I feel that we are lucky because when our guest comes to us, they really want to feel this human interaction. The human interaction that the airlines wanted to eliminate, they want to feel it in the hotels. They want to experience, they want to feel humans, they don't want to feel the statistics. Our ultimate goal should be to help them to create a better way to experience the world, to experience traveling. I am very lucky with the preparation that Le Roche uh, has given me and uh, so do you. Today you belong now to an elite and I'm not saying this because we have studied uh, among the beautiful mountains in, uh, of the Swiss Alps, uh, but because what has been taught to you. You maybe didn't understand the importance of some classes. Uh, I remember myself when uh, we were uh, spending half an hour discussing with the teacher if uh, 
the fork has to be one inch or one inch and a half away from the border of the table. And at the time, maybe we thought that uh, why we're spending so much time in this. But the reality is that the faculty was not teaching us how to place a fork on a table. It was teaching us how important the details are. I learned that uh, in the, as, the, as my career moved on. And uh, the true luxury for me remains on how we treat those details. The um, GMs knows it, the guest knows it, and of course, money knows it. Um, the detail of personalizing, for instance, a small welcome amenity to your returning guests will make a big, a big difference. The detail of personalizing, of uh, calculating the schedule and awarding your associates uh, when you will be managing a team a weekend in a roster that turns 24 hours a day makes a huge difference. And of course, the detail of investing your time helping other departments when they needed it will make an enormous difference. I will try, I tried myself to apply this as much as possible. And uh, guess what? Last year, I found myself uh, helping the stewarding department during the New Year's Eve uh, celebration at the hotel. But, you know, it was worth it because I say to myself, uh, it was rewarding to me, it was rewarding to the company, and it was rewarding, most important, to my colleagues. At the end of the day, as I say, we're in the business of people. The diploma that you have in your hands today will open many doors. I will not deny it. It opened to me a lot of doors. And I got my uh, first job very shortly after graduation. So thank you. Um, but how you cross those doors is entirely up to you. I have enough experience to have seen some very good friends miss out opportunities because they didn't have the right attitude. So my advice is that you should always adopt the right attitude. Right attitude is be humble and above all, work hard. You don't want to fail because you, didn't, you were not working hard enough. Nothing comes to you by chance, at least to me. And believe me, if something does, karma does a pretty good job taking it away from you very soon. I myself never wanted to miss a selection process because I haven't uh, prepared it well. Uh, so um, my personal advice is work hard. Play hard, but keep working hard. <laughs> Even if you are well prepared, guess what? Uh, the, the, there is another thing that will come along and it's called rejection. And you think that you're very well prepared and you have all the cards in your hand because and no one can beat you and then suddenly the, pers the, the decision maker has a no something or someone else in mind and turns a rejection letter on you. But these are when the true people, when the true personality gets elaborated. Don't fear this failure. Uh, keep up your self-esteem. Uh, even if you are rejected 100 times, you will need that self-esteem and you will need your best smile when the right job will, com will come along, when the right opportunity will come along. Because you'll never know how much the person that, that is sitting next to you needs your positivity. When you will give in the opportunity to enter into the work arena, one last idea, keep your ideas straight, but in front of others, remember to play as a team. It is your job to help the boss be right. Everybody has bosses, even me. <laughs> and no matter how different your ideas are. And it is your responsibility as a future leader to avoid pointing fingers in your team. You will have plenty of time in the future to arrange things internally on one-to-one -one basis, but always play as a team. Again, I believe we are in a business of people. I think that uh, now that I don't have anything written, written in my paper, my stress levels are going to uh, go down a little bit. I'm going to insist one more time on my gratitude for being allowed to speak to you today. Um, thank you for, sharing, for giving me the opportunity to share my very limited wisdom with you. And uh, well, if you remember my words, have a plan, adapt it to the change, pay attention to those details, 
Work hard, don't feel failure, and play as a team. Congratulations once again in your achievement. I wish you all very good lives. Thank you, Mr. Boo, for that uh, inspirational speech. Um, I believe we have a small gift for you. Can I ask Mr. Small to, uh, to give you a, a token of our appreciation for being here today? Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the um, almost at the end of our ceremony, however, very important part first, which is the presentation of the prizes. And I would like to invite Dr. Bruno Eccles to announce the award of the prizes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And it's with great pleasure that I will announce those prizes. There will be six prizes. The two first prizes will go to the postgraduate um, diploma. The first prize is for the top academic student. It is a prize of 500 francs, and it will be offered. It is offered, sorry, by Kessler. And I would like to ask Mr. Frank Gurning to come and join me on stage. Yes, please, Frank. You still have to do some work. <laughs> Champagne is in a little bit. And the student who will be awarded this prize um, finish her postgraduate diploma with an average of 92.6%. It is Elsa Putra, Jessica from Indonesia. The next prize is the prize for the students who made most, the most progress over the two semesters. This prize is offered by Victorinox. It's a set of knives for a value of 500 francs. And I would like to ask uh, Mr. Ricardo Campione to come and join me on the stage to present the prize. And the prize goes to a student from Vietnam, Lee Tang Tan. next prizes go to graduates to, uh, from the Masters of Hospitality Leadership. Um, the first prize goes to the top academic student. It's 500 francs offered by Blanchival. And the prize will be presented by Dr. Annick darioli Caro.
the prize goes to the student who achieved 88% um, average over the two semesters from Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> The next prize goes to the student who made most progress over the two semesters. This prize is offered by Kessler once again. It's a 500 franc prize. And I would like to ask Dr. Thomas Marshall to come and join me to present the prize. And the prize goes to from the Garden City, United States of America, Yang Lawrence. The two last prizes are dedicated to graduates from the Masters of Business Administration. The first prize for the top academic student for the first semester, this prize is of 500 francs and it's offered by the Commune of Grand Montana. And I would like to ask Dr. Diamandis to come and join me on the stage to present the prize. And now, with an average for her first semester of 89.75% from the Dominican Republic, Aquino Gonzalez Raisa Marea. The last prize is for the students with the best attitude. <laughs> Difficult one. <laughs> this prize is offered by Securitas, yes. A prize of 500 francs. And I would like to ask Monsieur Imfeld Dante to come and join me to present the prize. And the prize goes to, from China, Ma Chao Fei. Well, congratulations to all of you. And now it's time for the student voices. So I would like to call on stage from the postgraduate diploma, Elsa Putra Jessica. From the Masters in Hospitality Leadership, Dimitrieva Maria. And from the Masters in Business Administration, Ayalu Sedenya. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> when 
Dr. Diamantes extended the opportunity today for me to stand here on stage, I actually had no idea how to talk on behalf of the diverse PhD class that we are. Everyone is so unique that it will be selfish of me to use just my voice to speak on behalf of everybody. Instead, I'd like to say a few personal words to my PGDs. I promise to keep it short, because as most of you know, I can probably keep talking until the end of winter. <laughs> my PGD squad, thank you. Thank you for being such a warm group of individuals. All 28 of you are so special with your own unique quirks, and you welcome not only my sometimes overbearing perfectionism, but also my somewhat lack of common sense. And thank you. Thank you for always being a safety net. Emotionally, like when we're about to kill each other when playing our Halloween event, but also physically after all the Latino nights in the pub and sky. <laughs> Woo! This is especially true for those who know my love for champagne cups and ice cubes. <laughs> but thank you. Just thank you for being you, my PGD family. Now, before I pass the mic on to my fellow graduates, I would like to challenge everybody in this room to be constantly curious and fight fear. Fear comes from the distress of yourself and the anxiety of the unknown. So have faith in your passion and be fearless as you go out into the wild world. The opportunities for us are endless. We shall come back to this mountain one day to share all our survival stories and show off our battle scars. But for now, my friends, celebrate, because we did it! Woo! Okay, first of all, <laughs> I would like to thank everyone for coming today to support us on this important day for PGDs, MHLs, and MBAs. On a Monday, 16th of January 2017, eight young individuals from five different countries and cultural backgrounds met to start an exciting educational program. On that day, gathered over a few glasses of champagne, <laughs> we felt like we knew each other from 10 years back. Since then, we act and behave like a true family. Throughout this year, we firstly gained a lot of knowledge, but most importantly, knowledge about ourselves. And I would like to thank all our professors for that, specifically Dr. Darioli, Dr. Wong, Dr. Imboden, Dr. Graf, Mr. Rosen, Dr. Palfrey, Dr. Eccles, Mr. Varini, Mr. Hodgson, Mr. Marshall, and Mr. Hassan. As such a small class, we shared many challenging and stressful moments together, from helping each other with group assignments and last minute rush to meet the deadlines, to bringing each other food when sick or injured. Apart from difficult times, we also made incredible moments together, such as traveling throughout Europe to escaping to our closest civilization, Cramontana and Sierre. <laughs> Apart from the, um, as also, we'll always remember <laughs> our numerous Latino and hip hop nights at the local clubs and bars, our second home. <laughs> After the first semester, one of the MHL members, Chloe, our cute little Chinese, left the group to pursue her goals back home. However, we had Brianna to keep the Asian spirit in the group with her funny laugh. I hope you girls are watching us today online. Akul, our know-it-all and his caring personality. Then Larry, the relaxed and chilled out persona <laughs> who, keeps, who keeps the cool of the group. Kim, the tiniest but the loudest of the group and Selena, the most energetic with a constant smile on her face. Shikar, our party boy, whose silly jokes make us laugh every day. And then myself, the mom of the group, <laughs> who got to learn so much from all of you, and I had the pleasure to pass on some good things in return. And this is why we are M7 family, and we will always cherish the memories we made together in the past year. Future holds a lot of opportunities for us. We will start our journeys of becoming hospitality leaders in Germany, Washington DC, China, India, Dubai, and Qatar. Moreover, this wouldn't have been possible without the help and support of our families who gave us an incredible opportunity to wake up each morning in the Swiss Alps and for giving us the chance to expand our knowledge of the industry and connect with many extraordinary hospitality professionals. Lastly, and most importantly, we would like to express our deepest gratitude to firstly Dr. Darioli for being extremely supportive and for being a second mom for all of us. And secondly, many thanks 
to our program manager, Dr. Diamantes, for his constant support, encouragement, and always being on our side and looking after our student interests. Thank you very much, and once again, congratulations to everyone. Um, good evening, trustees, faculty members, families, friends, and fellow graduates. Today is a day to be thankful and to be inspired. I would like to start by saying thank you to our dean and program manager, Dr. Diamantes, for being an exceptional and supportive program manager. It's indeed a pleasure and a great honor to have been given the opportunity to deliver the valedictorian address this evening, speaking on behalf of 2017 MBA graduates. My heartfelt congratulations go out to my fellow graduates on reaching an important milestone in our scholastic uh, journey. We have made it. With a class of 19 students with 12 different nationalities, this year was one of the best learning experiences that we have shared with each other. We surely will miss the classroom fun they used to have. We have spent the past few months cramming for tests, pulling out all-nighters, and learning the meaning of balance and organization. We have done all of this while still trying to figure out our true identity, goals, dreams, and aspirations. The highlight of our MBA course was the two-week educational trip filled uh, to Chicago where we gained a real-life valuable insight and life learning lessons. Thanks to Mr. Ravila and once again Dr. Diamantes for organizing the trip. Graduation marks the end of yet another extraordinary chapter in our lives. With this chapter closed, I am certain that many of us are already anxious about putting our footprints into the hospitality industry and bringing the whole new world into a much more space for cultural exchange and tolerance. Now enough for the formalities for the moment. The day I arrived, I didn't think the guys that were judging my arrivals with six suitcases would become my support system. Shout out to Jahesh and Michael. <laughs> Thank you this year. Thank you for making this year memorable. A man with a hidden talent, Dr. Mr. Carp. I'm, I'm sure you will reach the clouds, I have no doubt. Tatiana, our superwoman and our super mom. I don't know how you do it, but we are all so proud of you. And I would like to thank uh, Raisa for her achievement. Um, and also, um, Raisa, the girl with the cutest smile, I will wish you a lifetime of happiness with your soon-to-be husband. And uh, jo <laughs> Josette, our PowerPoint creative genius, thank you for sharing your creativity with us. To my fellow graduates, this past year have made us more than friends. We are family. We have spent countless hours studying, working together on group projects, encouraging each other when time got tough, and making memories. We should also bound back together once in a while to celebrate the countless memories we've created and support each other to reach the next level of our career aspiration. Who knows, with such vibrant hoteliers, we will be hearing out the future new startups into introducing lifestyle brands or creating a disruptive e-commerce for OTAs from this group. We've created a distinct networking contact in our group here at La Roche, and I hope we'll continue to provide support and encouragement for each other in future endeavors. I came from a land called Ethiopia, where we, where we, with rich cultural, historical, and natural resources, where we brand our tourism as the land of origins. And I am hopeful many of us will shake the industry ahead with original ideas, and I do commit myself to be a change agent for the growth and transformation of tourism in Africa. To end my speech, I would like to leave you with a quote from Conrad Hilton. Let's fill the earth with the light and warmth of hospitality. Congratulations. P.S. Do not forget to turn in your dissertation, February 28th. Thank you once again to Student Voices. Thank you. We've now come to the end of the ceremony, sadly. Um, and it's time to express our thanks to the many people working behind the scenes who made this possible and the academic uh, semester successful. To start with, uh, sincere thanks to the program managers, uh, the faculty librarians, the academic offices, the registrar and her team, admissions and the internship and careers teams. 
We'd like to extend our sincere thanks as well to all academic and support teams who have been dedicated to your success, graduates, including student services, reception, IT, student accounts, nurses, maintenance, housekeeping, and all other staff. And another thanks to the events team that's put this together today as well. These, there are some people in the room who deserve our greatest thanks, and they are, of course, um, the families, the sponsors sitting here, and of course, those watching online on live streaming who couldn't be with us today. Today, following the recession of the graduates, we'd like to invite you for a cocktail just next door when you leave to the left of the uh, auditorium. And now I'll ask you to stand for the recession of the graduates.